Oh hi, what's up guys? Welcome to another vlog, bro. Another mystery man for vlog. Wow. Today I'm gonna show you how to make make this box that I'm wearing. Very nice. You like the box? Yes, epic gamer. Yes. Alright. Oh look. Look. Look, he's a this doggo. I subscribe if you like doggo. Okay. All right, gamers, what's up? Time for to uh, show you how to make your very own Mambro helmet. Wow, isn't that just epic? So uh, you're gonna need a couple stuff for us to get started, huh? As you can see, there's a there's a little the uh, beginning stages of the craft before us right now. It is uh, it, it is just a black box. So um. Here is a, a little example here of uh, of another box you can use at home. Just anything that would fit your head, and considering the uh, my my core demographic of viewers, this this should be uh, uh, baby sized. Get it? It's because most of the people that watch me are children. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is uh, just uh, get, get paint or maybe spray paint and just dab it over until it looks like that. Make sure it is appropriate for the dimensions of your noggin and uh, there you go. You got the the beginnings of the helmet. Now uh, if you do do sp uh, spray paint I'd at least wait like a week because the intoxicated fumes, the aroma of a spray, spray painted box, wearing it might not be too good. You might uh, feel a little dizzy while wearing it so you might want to wait till that goes away. Also, uh, children, 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 if, if you are uh, very young trying to do this, don't, don't, don't do it alone. Uh, parental guidance, uh, parental supervision, however they say it. Uh, ask of parents, adults, older individual. Not, not a stranger though, a stranger danger. Okay, next up, we want to get the, uh, the lovely look of the uh, of a Mambro symbol, so uh, it's it's different, really. For uh, you can make it whatever you like, but of course you gotta have a little hole, you gotta have something to see out of. So just go crazy with your designs. Of course, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be wearing this one, so I'm, I'm gonna make my uh, my little uh, my my uh, thing out of this paper. Uh, just. Uh, Huh. I guess I can cut the video later, but here we go. Oh, no, hold on. Frick. Might want to get something to, to write on before you do this to sketch it out. Oh, frick. Where? Where could that be? Oh, All right. This pencil is not sharpened. I'm gonna have to use a pin. Oh dear. Oh man. Oh, the stakes are high. Using a pin. Oh man. Oh dear. Okay. So we're just gonna just uh, a, a simple question mark of the uh, of the American English alphabet. Okay. Let's see. So uh, we're gonna start with the natural curve of the question mark. Once you reach the, uh, the the lower apex of the curve, then you may start on a vertical line of the stock of the question mark. Oh yes, very nice. Go up a little bit past that apex mentioned before and just round it out. That looks gone awful. Oh, that's terrible. That is, mm, that is very bad. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, you know. Uh, I, I did this with a pen, didn't I? <laughs> silly me, silly little, silly little man, bro. <laughs> All right, okay, so we've got a little, go start on there. Oh, yeah, that, that still doesn't look as good. Just uh, gonna keep editing it till it looks acceptable. Do your best. 
Okay. What is... Are these my tears, or is the... These scissors are wet. They have some sort of substance on them. <coughs> that smells awful. Who, who last used these? <laughs> that was terrible. What, what even was that? Why is that there? I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm just gonna use the other side. I can cut perfect circles, I promise. I'm pretty good at it. It looks a little wide. Alright, so this is what I, this is what I keep. Oh god, this, this isn't that great. Also, it's backwards, but I'll use the other side. It has ink works so well. It's got the edge. Oh, you're almost there, buddy. Come on, just move. Yeah, that'll, that'll, it's too big, it's too big, it's, 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 too, it's just too big, it's just a simple thing, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm just, man, I must be disappointed, it must be disappointing, I'm sorry for that, I really am. I will labor even harder. Remember to have a, uh, a good workspace because mine is very messy and it's gonna take very long to clean up. Maybe that's uh, that, uh, maybe that's not a good idea. Oh gosh, okay. I might have to dub over all of this if if me putting my phone right to the ground doesn't record audio as well. All right, that looks pretty similar. Shorten the length of this. Just a teensy bit. To do is mark out a little area. So this looks about right. Where to the rest of the box? I think that's where um, I, I would be able to have my eye positioned. So uh, what you're gonna want to do is let's put a little, a little mark. Oh, let's see. Over one there. So you get a mark. Uh, you probably can't see it, but it's like a little X. A little X symbol. Just gonna. You see that? You see my pencil getting ready to. Okay. Side cut down the middle. Take a little angled approach towards that line to the end of it. Parts and I have this. So uh, my, well, let's make it a bit thicker, a bit uh, more open. I think that'll look fine. So we have all the parts in place. Um, yeah, okay. We're gonna just arrange it on there. And that's how we're gonna tease it. Well. Wow, guys, we did it. Oh, you look at that. Wow. Uh, this is all off camera. Cool. It's took quite a while. Um, that's the that's the new face. New face of the channel. Hopefully, yours turned out good too at home. If you even did this garbage. All right, that's all for now. Uh, so put this baby on and go, go do stuff. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. 
200 sub sub submarinos. GG.